my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John 64 here bringing us more Black Ops 3 multiplayer beta. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like on the video and also if you guys got any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section. So anyways, moving on to the topic of today which is about my favorite Call of Duty of all time and it's obvious that it has to be Call of Duty Ghosts. Nah, I'm kidding. You <laughs> know, it's not Call of Duty Ghosts. It's actually some other game, but you know, Call of Duty Ghosts I consider is one of the worst games I ever played. And I'm telling you, I cannot believe that IGN actually rated this game nine out of fucking ten. Are you kidding me? Multiplayer was total garbage because everybody would just camp, everybody was hiding, everybody was just headset whoring. It was just super bad. I cannot believe IGN gave this game a nine out of ten. It's just super stupid. They just have a punch in the face with a brick. So, yeah, fuck you, IGN. <laughs> that game sucked ass. So, I consider Call of Duty Ghosts as one of the worst games I've ever played. Um, now, to my favorite ones. Now, this has to be a tie between Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 1 as my favorite Call of Duty of all time. Because let me tell you guys this. Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2 all had different experiences. And all led up to, like, the best game that I've ever played. Because it was super fun. And I had like several people that I met and you know, it was just a lot of experiences going on at the same time with all these three, three different Call of Duty games. And um, let's talk about Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, it was a great solo experience because I would never hang out with anybody. I didn't have a clan. I would just usually run solo. I didn't have a YouTube channel by then so nobody knew who I was. And um, well, you know, running solo. And Black Ops 1 actually landed me in the top 30s for both Domination and Team Deathmatch in the leaderboards. And that was the online leaderboards and I was averaging like around 750 points per minute. It is possible. <laughs> it is possible if you get like around 70 kills per game which I did achieve in Black Ops 1. My highest amount of kills ever achieved in Black Ops 1 was 98 kills and 12 deaths. And I did have like more than 20 gameplays with over 80 kills so I did achieve a lot playing solo no clans no team members no friends no nothing I was just running by myself and this is something special also Black Ops 1 I used to play on a 9 inch screen it was a super fucking small ass TV and I'm telling you it wasn't HD yeah, I think it was like 40p or something because god damn it that screen was super small I still have that TV you know I would like to show it to you guys in the future because it's just unbelievable how much I achieved on that small ass screen on Black Ops 1 because I know I was missing so much part of my screen. Like I couldn't even see the, like, the whole map. I was actually seeing the half of the map. So that's why I consider Black Ops 1 as my best solo experience because I went solo and also it was just super incredible what I achieved on a small ass screen. I didn't have this TV that I have right now which is pretty much HD. So, um, you know, that's why I consider Black Ops 1 as one of my favorite ones. Now, moving on to Modern Warfare 3. Now, Modern Warfare 3 was a different story. It wasn't because I ran solo. It was because I had a clan. Now, this is what made Modern Warfare 3 even more fun. Um, this is where I started off my YouTube channel. And with my YouTube channel, I actually got in contact with several people. A lot of people added me. I added a lot of friends. And, um, you know, when I was playing Modern Warfare 3, I actually got into a clan. And in that clan... I actually got like around um, 400 to 500 kill confirmed tags in three hours when it came down to clan ops so I would actually put the clan on the map and we ended up ranking 50 in the whole world on the clan ops for kill confirms all the goddamn time and you know it was just a total nightmare for opposing teams because we would just own oh, me, Crew 7 Chavez, Juxter 6 um, who was another guy, Reverend Lovejoy, uh, this other people that I knew along the way, you know, it was just total chaos knowing these people and me helping them, you know, achieve the clan status. You know, it was just a fun experience. This is the first time I ever, you know, tend to play with other people because I never done this before. I'm telling you because in Black Ops 1, I only played solo 24 7 because I didn't like when people try to slow me down or take me into search and destroy like they usually do nowadays. Actually, they used to do that a lot in Black Ops 2. I'm like, I never play Search and Destroy, man. Stop inviting me to that shit. So, uh, yeah, Modern Warfare 3 was a great clan experience. Damn. That's why I consider Modern Warfare 3 as actually my, uh, one of my favorites of the whole Call of Duty series. Now, moving on to Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was quite similar to Modern Warfare 3, which, you know, which I had like a, 
like a lot of people around me, but this time I did not have a clan experience because Call of Duty Elite sucked ass after the, the Modern Warfare 3 Call of Duty Elite. Call of Duty Elite went to this huge freaking decline. Like they removed the comment sections, they removed the freaking, you know, the clan comment section. I was like, what's going on here? They're removing all the responses. And I was like, how are we supposed to contact each other? If we cannot even talk through our own clan page, like they remove so many things. The original clan elite, um, the Call of Duty elite page was super good. It was super well done. I cannot believe they removed all that kind of cool stuff they used to have back in the day. And that's how we actually killed a clan and also a lot of clans along the way. So uh, we ended up not contacting each other. We ended up breaking up and um, there was no more clan. And um, well, since there was no more clan and I still had a YouTube channel running, a lot of people tend to add me and um, you know I actually my friend list uh, clogged up like at 98 I believe because uh, back in the day in PS3 you can actually have only like around 80 friends or something so I only played with friends in Black Ops 2 and also in Black Ops 2 I did achieve a lot of gameplays with over 90 kills 80 kills and 70 plus kills gameplays it was super cool so uh, I I did super good solo and I did super good with teammates and it was super fun also doing skits and uh, funny stuff along with friends and you know that's what, what that's what um pretty much brought up the experience for Black Ops 2 for me so it was fun playing with friends in Black Ops 2 that's why I consider Black Ops 2 as one of my favorites but one thing that really screwed it up the most was that Black Ops 2 was updated after the month of May of 2013 and what happened after that month was that all the SMGs and assault rifles got updated and they actually nerfed every single fucking gun that they ended up super freaking weak and only everybody was using the freaking sniper. Everybody was just only using the sniper. What kind of game was that? It ended up as a sniper, so that's why I don't consider, you know, Black Ops 2 is one of my top favorites, but I do consider it as a fun experience. So, at the end, it's between Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1, great solo experience, achieved so much solo on the leaderboards, and um, it was just total chaos when it comes down to me versus a bunch of clan members because i used to take out clans no matter what i didn't even give a damn i was like all right you're in the clan i'm gonna take you the fuck out it was just the attitude the attitude error for me it was a total attitude error so uh, for modern warfare 3 it was just a total clan era i was just helping out people out there to grow up with me and um and i was trying to help them and they would help me and that's how we achieve so much in modern warfare 3 so um I'll say my favorite favorite has to be Black Ops 1. I mean, I enjoy playing with people and all, but Black Ops 1, I wished I would have started YouTube during that era. Because I'm telling you, I should have 10,000 subs by this point. If people would have watched me on Black Ops 1, I would have made several YouTubers out there, several Call of Duty YouTubers out there look like crap. Because these people were not teaching you crap. So, um, so yeah, I mean... Black Ops 1, I wish there was another one because Black Ops 1, I consider it as my number one game I, uh, that I ever played. You know, that I, w I want another Black Ops 1. So yeah, that's my pick, guys. So my question to you, which Call of Duty is your favorite one? So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty. Successful. Perfect outcome.